Welcome back to Suladan Plays Portal Reloaded. Last time, things got complicated. And lasers. And oof, I spun around too fast and lost track of where I was. Uh. Things are about to get a little more complicated in the next chamber. But don't lose hope. Think about this. As long as you don't see your own corpse lying in the future, it is safe to assume that you solved the chamber sometime during the last 20 years. Or the laser hit me in just the perfect way and it completely atomized me. I really thought that wasn't the, oh. I thought I had subtitles on and now I'm very confused. I also don't know what full captions are, so we're stuck with that for now. Also, why must you like this is this is an expensive way to decorate a room. There there are far easier ways to light a room, you know. Okay, and seriously, it, was my mouth sensitivity always this? Something is strange today and I don't know what. Okay, there we go. I was spinning around randomly by accident. And I haven't changed my mouse sensitivity, so the game should be where it was, but I don't think I don't see you moving around, looking at me. You know, one thing I do miss, in the original Portal, and I think it was the original, Portal 2 may have done it too. Actually, I think it did, because Wheatley had a tendency to talk a lot. Really like Wheatley. Uh just the characterization, the voicing, the, the, I mean, GLaDOS does really good too, but really like Portal 2 and it's, uh, having more of a expressive story, I guess. The first game, just having GLaDOS was nice, but, uh, Portal 2 did a really good job at expanding on the formula. Point being, uh, I really like it when you enter a puzzle and it's like, this puzzle is testing this concept and it kind of gives you that little subtle nudge and like, hey, you're going to want to try this. Especially with those earlier puzzles. Some of the ones I got stuck on, I was stuck on because I never would have thought of the logic they were trying to aim towards, like having an object bounce through a time portal back and forth in that center thing, or using the time portal as a momentum extender. Uh, just little nudges and hints, especially in the earlier levels, go a long way. And yes, I know there's these things that tries to give you some hint, but the symbols are never really explained in the game, even though, yeah, you can figure them out. And why are these grayed out and why are those not gray? These are things that I don't know. I guess it's saying there's no water here. I don't have to do momentum jumping. There is no water fountain, which makes me sad. It's saying laser needs to go through portal to hit the thing, to hit the thing. Reflecty cubes are involved. Don't hit your head. And there's a button. Anyway, we're just gonna we're just gonna work with that. I'm gonna put a time portal and we're gonna see what we have to deal with. And it would be so funny if this room of all places had a skeleton in the corner because he had said the thing about, you know, your body and all not being there in the future. Uh so yeah, a little bit of a missed opportunity there. Okay, that is a white wall I can work with. Okay, hitting that presumably activates that. Does that mean that's another laser? Oh, and they're numbered. That's not wonderful. So hitting that one gets me a cube, which is probably of the reflective variety. I'm just going to go ahead and fire the laser into the pa I'm not going to question that. I'm not going to deal with that. I get one of them is gonna go here and one of them's gonna go over there so first let's deal with that pop that time portal somewhere more convenient for me oh no oh no oh no oh but uh, <laughs> Are you telling me I'm going to have to do that just to get... Okay, that's going to be tedious. I 
because it means every step of the way I'm gonna have to... You, I'm using this to bypass the portal nullifier wall thing. So then I come out here... Give. Do I have to hit that? Give. I have to hit both of you. <sighs> I disapprove of you in so many directions right now. Okay, I already see some pieces. This one's gonna need to come from the time portal. So, that one needs to come from the present. So, in that, by that logic, I need to move that there. Move that there. Oh, but then how am I going to get the time portal where I need it in the... Hmm. No, both puzzles here, I mean, both portals here are outside, so I can do that safely. No, I cannot. I just broke everything. That's not what I need. Hmm. Hmm. Presumably that one makes that stair-steppy thing happen. But before, why is there a third one up there? Why? Oh my goodness, game. Why? why? Okay, back to the present. I need to think. Okay, so I clearly need to be able to get both beams out here. How do I do that? Actually, one would assume by... You know what, I don't have any portals. I can walk through here. One would assume by doing that... But then I have, yeah, I can't take advantage of both. Uh, huh. Well, I could actually, maybe, hang on, idea. No, maybe. Mm. No, but you can see where I'm going with this. No, because that's not going to work. Mm. No, wait. Does this help me? Almost. Ow. I'm not the biggest fan of the uh, the mouse wheel thing. I'm probably going to remap that at some point. Ow. Okay, I'm going to have to move that for the moment. I need orange portal up there. I'm sure you can see where I'm going with this. Wait, where did I... I don't remember where I had this before. Where? <laughs> oh, because I moved the portal in the past, it moved the portal in the future. Gotcha. So in theory... Oh, there's a button up there. Okay, so in theory, I can do that, and then do that, and lo and behold, I have a cube. I am making progress. This is a glorious day. Oh, your texture kind of fritzes a bit there. No matter. 
So now I repeat what I just did. Don't you blink at me. It's very confusing. Why are you blinking at me? Why are you blinking at me? You weren't blinking last time. You just kind of held still last time, and I don't approve of you not holding still. See, I don't remember it blinking last time. It was a solid color unless it was moving. I don't like that it's blinking because I would rather just leave that option turned on, but the blinking is very distracting, so we're just gonna do this. Okay, in this case, I can't have it come straight out and hit it, so I've got the reflecty do. I can, however... Well, that's not what I was necessarily aiming for, but for sure. Because I moved the portal, I'm going to have to re-seat the portal. Okay, technically, yes, I could do that, but... Mm. No, because as soon as I touch that one, I'm going to break everything. So I think what I'm going to do... Go ahead and set you up there. Then grab future version of you. And bring you back with me. Okay, now, I need a time portal in a position that bounces the laser up here, or out here. That works. So, in theory... I do that, and look, game, you're evil. Well, maybe. Ha ha! I thought it was going to make me redo parts of that, and I was going to be very confused. Well, you solved it. Congratulations. Yay for me. Is that all I get? Also, the text should be centered in the subtitle box. Why well, left, I mean, not left justify at that point, because I think justify is the one where you stretch everything out, but... But why left a line? I'm not in the middle. You probably polish the uh, detection there to make sure it, uh, you know, snap the player back to the middle or something. Very nice model and animation and all. It's just a little bit weird. And also the loading screen blends in a little much, but that's not actually on the uh, the mod. The vanilla game has that issue as well. We Very tried pretty many loading times screens, though. to open a passage to the future, but this connection, exactly 20 years from now, is the only one stable enough to last longer than a few microseconds. I do kind of like that it's hinting at me what is to come, and we're going to get the springboard thing soon. But what have you. I think it's probably totally not bad for your bones to be, like, impacted like that. Just like how the hookshot would probably pull your arm off, despite looking really cool. Up until the point that it pulled your arm off. At which point it looks a lot less cool. Just going to put that out there. It does not look cool once your arm has had been removed. Okay, where am I trying to go? I am offended by that. I'm gravely offended by that. I am so offended by... That is not... Stop, I'm trying to not... Ow. Well, now I kind of want to know what happens if I do that. Okay, I hit the... Wait, maybe. Can I break it? Can I break it? Ow. If I hold down the button, maybe, I second-guessed myself and hesitated and thought, maybe I should hit the orange... How did I mess that up?
Eh, that's not gonna work. I'm just gonna put that there. I don't know where I'm going. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm gonna go. Ah. I don't know where I'm going anymore. If I had the slightest clue what I was doing, I would be dangerous. My hope was that I could get up there and get to that thing, but that's nah, not working. Let's go look in the future. What's different here? Oh, that's different there, duh. But that's broken. Idea. Okay. Put you there. Put you there. Uh, I can't do that from this timeline. I need to be back here. Okay. I go bonk, bonk, bonk. Well, this is not where I'm trying. I am very soundly confused. I'm oh, wait. Idea. No, maybe. Oh, that. Some of the. It, mm, I hope it's not what I'm thinking because that requires way too much fine tuned. Ha ha! Good. The second half of this testing course is located below you. Unfortunately, no elevator can take you there, so you will have to take the stairs. I'm concerned by the fact I figured that one out relatively quickly. I'm also still in the future. Is the stairs in the... is the elevator in the past? How dare you. I'm so tempted to unmap that. Hmm... I'm going back to the path. No, I can't. Oh dear, what did I miss? That works too. Me making a portal? Yes, it works very nicely. Wee. 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 Okay, that's enough of that. Um. I disapprove. I can't go through here. Eh, invisible walls, how dare you? Eh, maybe. Oh, and I clipped through and I fell off of stuff. You know what? Fine, we're going into the void. Maybe this will let me see what I missed. Yes. Did it remember that I zoomed in by accident at that point? Invisible walls! That works too. What if? Oh, so close. I'm going to keep doing this. I must try. Yes, and it does remember that I was zoomed in at that point. That disappoints me. Having to wait for all this is annoying. That works too. Got it! Aha! Oh, was that what I was supposed to do in the first place? Is that what I was supposed to do? Uh. So I'm not supposed to jump at all. I'm supposed to be portaling my way down. I guess I would have ended up down there either way. That's a different door. You might have noticed that something is not quite right here. Remember when we told you that the decay of the facility was completely intentional? Turns out, that was a lie. There is a bigger picture here. Your test might be the most important one ever conducted. For now, Let's just try to get back on track.
and keep going. So he says. So he says, control room. I was going to say, what if this was all happening at the same time as Portal 2, in which case the decay would be Wheatley messing up and, you know, all of the shenanigans, but that wouldn't explain the time travel element in the 20 years. Um, I also appear to be stuck. Was I not supposed to come over here? Well, too bad. I'm coming over here. Oh, yay! Who'd have thunk it? I can open a door in a portal game. That's unusual. You know, moments like that make me suspect that this is... Well, actually, of course, it is based on the gravity gun. Duh. Uh, I can't read any of that. Fish-shaped... Well, it says wrist-shaped candies, but I assume that says fish-shaped candies. Vegetable oil. Baking pouch. Quarter tea. This is the... This is a recipe for cake, isn't it? This is a corrupted recipe for cake. Which is exactly what I expect to find in a portal game. Hmm. What is this here? What's in here? What's in here? Why is that not open? Observation room. And still no time. Hmm. I am concerned. Margarine softened. I... I'm just gonna go down here. What was that? Something clicked at me. Something clicked at me and I disapprove of it. I don't have time portal function at the moment, by the way. If you're wondering, no I do not. Oh no, we're back here. Minus the ability to make time portals. Wait, what if I... Aha. Uh -huh. Back in the present. This didn't lead me to where I thought I was. Oh dear. Why is it? Why would you put a button up there? Wait. I can save myself. Yes. Excellent. Why would you put a button up there? But, but, that doesn't rotate. I guess I just need to, no, that's not happening. Wait, aha, hi cube, you're coming with me. Whether you like it or not. That goes up. This is not helpful. This does me no good. Why am I doing it anyway? That flings into that, which flings up here, which presumably does me no good. Hmm. I can not make time portals. Yes, I can. I can only make time portals on the other side of that. So are you telling me this puzzle doesn't require the use of time portals? Or are you telling me that... Hmm. Okay. So it's the same room no matter which side I put it on. I mean, I have a cube now, so I guess future stuff. Up does me no good. Um, I don't see that doing me any real, like, benefit. And I don't think the cube can go through there. That'll destroy the cube.
well for all the good it does me. I can't get to it anyway. And that does not look like a white surface that I should be portaling, but fine. I feel like this is important, but it does me no good. No. I need the cube to come with me. We've established that. Well, how do I get the cube through there? Okay, it's broken. That's broken in the future. Oh, uh, wait, wait. I'm really confused now. I'm getting there. I'm piecing something together. No, never mind. That idea doesn't work. For a second, I thought I needed to put a time portal there and do the whole extension thing, but I can't do that from out here. And presumably, I can't just walk through this and then... Yeah, that doesn't work that way. If I fire through there, I go blue out the orange. And if I put blue there, I'll just fall, fall down from there again. But I need... I should not have brought the cube with me for testing purposes. Aha! So that is what I need to do, but not in this point in time. So we're on to something. I'm actually learning. That is frightening. Very frightening. Hello, button. Don't worry, Cube. We both died. I'm very disappointed. Oh, good. It didn't have a long loading screen. Which is what throws me here. I'm confused because I could have swore there was a point in time where I ended up in the previous puzzle, but I've not been able to get back there, so I'm like, was I hallucinating? Yes. I mean, yes, I got the cube, not yes, I was hallucinating. I mean, the jury's out on that way. No, I can't take the cube to the future. <gasps> Was I on the right track with my initial idea? I mean, the, the, the main query here being that I need future cube for this. Because I can't take present cube into the future or I break everything. So, launch. Launch. Hooray for buttons. I well did done. Since the catwalk to the next chamber appears to be non-existent, you can rely on the power of aerial faith plates to get you there. On the other hand, couldn't I have... And yes, I know there was another way to solve that. Um, Couldn't I... Uh, I think there was another way to solve that, not involving the time portal. Could, couldn't I just go back to the present when everything works and then use the catwalk? I mean, that seems like it would make more sense. Whatever the case, I'm going to go ahead and pause here. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.